Hello friends, this documentation is about the blue mud dauber. It's easy to name them as pests, but uh, if one has to witness the craftsman skill, it's a lot learning. This insect caught my attention and I felt like documenting it. She fascinated me with her uh, craftsman skill and I was thrilled. So I kept my tripod and I was behind the camera and to document this, the entire sequence of what she is bringing, uh, what she is doing in that switchboard, uh, in those three pin plug, because the, the first thing in my mind was never to switch on that because in case if the current is on and she might get blazed inside because I didn't want it any accidents so I I just sacrificed that unused Swiss board for her and it was an afternoon so I had to observe through the camera and uh, the light was uh, not even so my son helped me out with the torch light at times when uh, the cloud the weather used to be cloudy and uh, so the sunlight used to be very harsh at times and very low at times so there's a flicker of the torch in some of the frames which you might see uh, which actually uh, just triggered the details of what she was now the surprising thing was she used to bring insects and uh, most of the insects seen were which i i, I could identify were like spiders and uh, those spiders she used to inject her dagger inside as if like first I thought it could be a venom but then I felt that no it's not the venom she was restless and she, probably she was finding a home where she could lay her eggs inside the uh, dead bodies of the spiders so she used to inject that and I used to feel that in, 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 the, in some of the frames you could actually see her piercing in the dagger and probably the eggs were uh, kept to hatch inside and uh, every two round three round four rounds i could witness her bringing the spiders and shove it inside the holes the most interesting part it was after those four to five rounds now look here what's happening and be with me Then a surprising scene just unfolded. As her name, she's a fine craftsman or a nature's artisan, you may call. She came up with the mud and started sealing the hole. This process of sealing the chambers is done after the holes are filled with food injected eggs. It was a treat for the eyes looking at her ceiling finesse 
which almost looked like plastering. Absolutely an even mud plastering and clean work, I must say. It almost took her three to four rounds to complete that small hole, which was not more than two to three mm in diameter and around two centimeters deep. The next round was with a white substance. Now, isn't this process just as similar to that of a mason? It is. The fine white substance was bonded with a saliva. Even the mud was mixed with her saliva. It may be sticky, but I didn't see her dipping or getting water from any source.
lastly, she came up with some gluey substance, maybe a tree gum or God knows what it was, but a sealant. Again, the white substance lacquered the entire layer to make it look clean and weatherproof. So the next time, when you treat them as pests and probably end up killing them, instead, just shoo them or to ignore them, just put a hole guard in the switchboard. This will solve your problem as well as theirs. Probably, they would connect and just be a part of your macro memory. Mute to us, but highly efficient and sensitive. We close our chapter here. How fascinating nature and its designed creatures are. It's easy to label them as pests. But in none of the incidents she stung or bothered me while I was shooting this entire sequence but was yet a member of our daily routine and was amazed seeing this highly disciplined and poised insect. Thank you.